10 years, Ronald McDonald House Charities of South Dakota Kilts for Kids fundraiser has raised just shy of $1.4 million in donations to provide a place for families to stay at RMHC South Dakota while their child faces a hospital recovery or treatment. The fundraiser is the charity's top grossing event every year, and this is the first year there are women kilters participating. Kristen Hofert Redlinger is a kilter and part of the week for good organizing team. And Lexis Paulson is the owner of Nautical Bowls, one of the local businesses involved in the Week for Good. They're here to tell us more about the event and how you can get involved. Welcome, ladies. Thanks for having us. Yes, thank you for coming in. I'm super excited. We're going to have a little demo. But first, Kristen, tell me a little bit about how there are women now involved. <clears throat> So this is the first year that women are able to be involved, which is super exciting. Um, there's a couple of women teams. Our team, we are um, lovingly, we named ourselves the Dressed to Kilt team. Uh, <laughs> it is uh, myself, Addie Graham Kramer, um, Harriet Yukum, Regan Dennis, Ad, uh, Carla Santi, Andrea Pins, Maddie Pashong. Did I say everybody? And yes, I think so. I think so. you did. Yeah, I think we I have got the them. images Perfect. on the screen right now. Oh, Courtney Collin. Courtney Collin. So how exciting for you guys and yes. going into this you guys are right you guys are on a mission we are we are on a mission to break um to break a record and to raise fifty thousand dollars in one week you know we as a group are very competitive women uh and we really thought how can we use the skills that we have to really bring a lot of people along and bring people together some additional um rock star business <laughs> women to try to really make this happen for this cause so that brings us to the week of good and you are currently in this right now, yes. getting ready yes. for the event. So tell me a little bit more about what's happening for this. So um, this event kicked off last, really at the end of last week with a couple of really exciting things. One of them I got pied in the face for at <laughs> Northwestern Mutual, so that was interesting. Um, then we had an event at Ignite on Saturday. We did something at Squealers the next day. Uh, we have Nautical Bowls and uh, Face Foundry that are doing something today. Autumn Elizabeth uh, Salons is donating a portion of their profits for this entire week. We've got women donating services such as ION You Designs. Um, we have Jody Schwan that's going to do a dollar per pigeon starting on Friday into the next week. We have free rain, um, which is for horse riding lessons, they're going to donate a portion of their profits in Brandon. And then uh, Live Hydration Spa is also going to donate a portion of their profits. And there's so much more. I wish I could name everything. Um, but if anyone does want to get involved, there's still time. We still need someone for Thursday to do a kickoff. So please get, um, give us a call or contact us um, via any of our social media channels. How exciting. So. Lexus with Nautical yeah. Bulls getting involved in this event. You guys have a fun event happening today. Correct. So tell us a little bit about what's happening. Yeah, so tonight from 4 to 7, um, viewers, anyone in the community can come to our store, order a bowl, um, and we're going to donate a proceeds of our sales, um, a portion of those to the kilting team, um, just by you know enjoying a yummy bowl and doing something good for the Ronald McDonald House. And they are yummy. You brought some in today. And we're going to top <laughs> off these ones, too. So. Yeah. Let's just have you kind of start explaining. Yeah, so we brought our Sunrise Bowl, so our most popular bowl, our best seller at our Sioux Falls store. Um, so we have our Pattaya, our Dragon Fruit, our Blue Magic, which actually comes from algae, very fruity bowl. Um, so, and then topping on this one is gonna be granola. So we'll get a little bit more granola on here. You guys can go ahead and do that one if you'd like. And then next is gonna be banana, strawberries, and then we'll do some honey at the end. I'll let you do the strawberries. <laughs> Perfect. Split it up and share it. And this is by far my favorite. Is this your favorite? Yes. Okay. And my kid's favorite. Can't go wrong with this one, especially if it's your first time. I'm gonna add some strawberries on that one for me and I'll get a banana yes. going. I still say though the surf bowl is my, always my favorite. It's that chocolatey, <laughs> chocolatey great dessert. We have a bunch of different ones over here, but they're so good, good for you as well. Right. Surf bowl is my favorite also. All right, I'm gonna put bananas on. Yeah, you, yours looks a bit fancier than maybe what That's we could okay. do. That's <laughs> okay. And then who wants to do the honey? You can have the honors. <laughs> oh, perfect. Thank you. Put a nice little honey drizzle on there, and you'll be good to go. And that one as well. So so good. <laughs> So by having this week for good and having all these businesses involved too, do you think that's what's really going to help you meet this goal of raising? 
yes. money. So, um, you know, this could be a part of making history. So we're just hoping that the community comes along with us. And really with having these businesses involved, these are businesses that truly care about our community. Um, a lot of them have personal ties to Ronald McDonald House or, or to some of the women that are involved. And we have a lot of ties to Ronald McDonald House. So our hope is that through the business community getting involved, the message gets out there and people just want to join this movement of us trying to do something really, really big, especially the first year that women are involved. If we could break the fundraising record for the overall event, but especially break it in one week. Um, Ron McDonald House of South Dakota has never raised 50 grand in one week, so if we could do this together, it would be phenomenal. That is amazing. And like you mentioned too, first year for females to be involved, and now you're getting businesses that are owned by females involved. So Lexus with yes. Nautical Bulls, how does this help support your mission too by being involved with things like this? Yeah, absolutely. I was so excited when Kristen reached out first, because again, we're a women-owned business. This is a women-empowered um, team. Two of our values at Nautical Bulls are others first and authentic community. So it just seemed like the perfect fit, you know? We're always willing to do donations for events around the community. People stop in our store all the time and will ask for donations, which we're more than happy to do. Um, but really trying to find that niche of one like big event that we can get involved in and make an impact in our community. And this just seemed like a really great fit. So I was more than ecstatic when Kristen reached out and asked. And Kristen, with the big event coming up, I know there's yes. so much going on before the actual actual fundraiser kilts for kids, but what are the details for the actual event? So the actual event will take place on October 20th and it will be at the district. Um, it's going to be a really exciting event. The only way to get tickets is through making donations, so the tickets are not widespread. Um, I would love for you to go to my personal fundraising page and donate $500 or more <laughs> to the executive director. Um, we'll reach out with two tickets, uh, but you know, there's a bunch of different ways to get involved, so you can check out their website. Um, if you want to see the events going on for a week of good, we have a Facebook group. It's hashtag week for good, all one word, uh, space 2022 dash Ronald McDonald House Charities. So R M H C. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. And you have your kilt on right now. Yes, so that's I do have my kilt it. on. Yes. Are you supposed to wear this leading up to the event all the time? So I'm supposed to wear this to everything that I do for the entire rest of the, um, yeah, the rest of the week up until the 20th. So I will wash it, obviously, <laughs> um, but I'll try to make sure to wear it in the community. The hopes are, is that people look at it and say, what's going on? How can we um, support Ronald McDonald House and the thousand families that they help during the year? Oh my gosh, amazing. Well, we have to try these yes. before we go, so I'll hand you all a spoon. I'll grab this one right here. Is, which okay. one is this? This one that has a naughty bowl. Naughty yeah. bowl, okay, I haven't <laughs> had this one, so I'll get to try it. All right, well, cheers. Cheers to doing good things for the community. Cheers. Yes, cheers. Mm.